onomatopoeia is the use of words that imitate sounds. So you might be asking yourself, why do authors use onomatopoeia? Well, authors often use it to help the reader better hear particular sounds in writing. When it comes to poetry, words that convey onomatopoeia are often single syllable, and this then helps create rhythm. We often see onomatopoeia in comic books or comic strips where writers have a small amount of space to convey an important message. However, we also see it in children's books. When kids learn about animals, they often learn first the sound that the animal makes so that they can connect the two together for future recall. Take a look at this example to see what I mean. Let's take a look at a real life example in a comic. In this comic, we can clearly see that Garfield has pushed Odie off the ledge. And we see that by the way that the author has indicated the words push and crash. Right? So if we remember that onomatopoeia is literally showing a reader the sound, this makes sense. Let's take a look at this in action in a poem called Cynthia in the Snow by Gwendolyn Brooks. This one's pretty short, so let's read it all. Listen and see if you can pick out examples of onomatopoeia present. It shushes, it hushes, the loudness in the road. It flitter twitters and laughs away from me. It laughs a lovely whiteness and whitely whirls away. To be some other wear, still white as milk or shirts, so beautiful it hurts. What examples of onomatopoeia do we see present? Could you pick out the examples of onomatopoeia? I see it in the first line with the word shushes, the second line with the word hushes, the fourth line with the hyphenated word flitter twitters, and the seventh line with the word worms. All of those are examples of what snow would sound like. To recap, onomatopoeia is the use of words that imitate sounds. Look for examples of it in poetry that you read throughout this unit. Happy hunting!